And this is basically why I left. Normally I say, don't talk to me until I have my coffee. And normally I'd also say, good morning, Saxon family. How are you guys doing today? Hope you're having a fantastic day. Got a smile on your face and you're ready for a new vlog. But it's way too early for both. Now you might be asking, Emily, why are you up at literally 5.30 in the morning? And that's a good question. Sometimes I wonder my life choices in regards of the times I wake up. But today's practically like the last day of summer. I want to do something I haven't done in a long time, but first, I need to do like my morning routine, which, um, yeah. Let's go do that. So it starts off by me falling back into bed, which then I make the bed after I get out of the bed, and then I basically brush my teeth, trying to keep them healthy and clean, followed up by me, can we just skip this? You guys have never seen a lady shave her face before, have you? Then I wash my face, and then I pat it dry, and then I add serum, rub it in, and then I add some moisturizer after as well, and then followed by brushing out my hair, and after this, it's time for my coffee. Yeah, uh, so that's part of my morning routine so far. And, um, yeah, sugar, spice, everything nice. Let's see if somebody catches that TV show reference, but... <sighs> that just hit the spot here at 5.50 in the morning. Okay, so right now you might be wondering, Emily, what are you doing up before noon? This is the time you typically sleep, which you ain't wrong. This is uh, uh, probably about the time I normally would go to bed, but... I want to try something different. You see, a lot of very successful people happen to wake up before 6 a.m. and I figured, why not give that a try? And with summer coming to an end, I actually want to go see a sunrise because I haven't seen a sunrise in so long. I have a few minutes before I gotta leave, so I'm just gonna finish consuming my coffee and check Twitter and all my other social medias to see what is going on in the world. Okay, so good news is that I made it on time to watch the sunrise, which is cool. Bad news is I so far still don't understand why people like to watch the sunrise. Uh, it makes no sense to me. So if you normally do watch the sunrise, uh, comment down below in the comment section and why you normally watch it. Wow, that, that is literally beautiful. Now I understand why people will literally just sit and watch the sunrise. It was cool, it was like, now that I think about it, it's like, we're the sun, right? And the cloud is just like, you know, the darkness and all that. And you just see the sun rise above the darkness, above the clouds, and is now literally standing tall. And that's a pretty cool, like when you look at it through that perspective, it just makes a lot of sense. I don't know if I'm making sense, but like it makes sense to me in here. That was so worth it getting up this early. I guess like the, the sunrise wants to like follow me home, which is cool. I mean, I am the sunshine. So like, why not like bring the sunshine back with, not a horrible joke, I get it. What I don't get is why I can't see out some of my windows. This is why, oh, okay. I totally forgot. Um, I am not a vlogger. I haven't vlogged in like forever, so uh, please forgive me. It's no secret that I've been kind of missing from YouTube. I mean, I've uploaded some short form content, which has thankfully done well. Um, and at the same time, I haven't uploaded a long form video in almost 75 days. And there's kind of a lot to it. I, if you guys know, the last long form video I uploaded was this one here, basically called I Need Help. And in that video was me talking about that I need help 
trying to trade this Hulkbuster arm. That's kind of been a struggle, uh, just trying to trade that arm. Nobody wants a $25,000 arm. I was trying to do this whole campaign to make a trade with David Dobrik. He's yet to, to still respond, so that kind of sucks. Especially because like he's a big Iron Man fan. I kind of figure, yo, like, let's go. This next trade is going to go to David Dobrik. A bunch of people told me, yo, go make a trade with this guy. He loves Iron Man. And this was like something cool that I figured he would like. But uh, sadly, no bueno, no trade with him or anybody for it. So if anybody's interested legitimately in making a trade, let me know down below in the comment section or reach out to me on one of my other social medias via DM. So yeah, there's that. Those were the last like long form videos I made with trying to make the trades and all that, which to be honest, I'm very impressed how I went from a $3 chocolate bar to an object that's actually worth $25,000. If you guys remember my old saying, you can do anything you put your mind to, and eventually I will get that Tesla that's been eluding me. Uh, I just gotta figure out who's gonna wanna make a trade for the Hulkbuster arm. So from that trading video, it allowed me to actually take a good understanding and studying of YouTube because I posted that video here onto this vlogging channel, and then also onto what is now considered my new main channel, where I'm gonna be making the videos I genuinely wanna make, the videos that I know are meant to go viral, that are meant for discoverability, they're meant for growth, because after doing a lot of studying and research, and even having the opportunity to talk with some people who really know the algorithm, and we're not talking about creators, I'll just put it like that. The best thing I got was, it'd probably be my best interest to really move on onto that channel for those types of videos and had i put the trading a chocolate bar video onto the newer channel just by itself it probably would have done a lot better it got a few thousand views over there naturally uh because of the algorithm and all that kind of stuff and if you want to know more about the algorithm i kind of always talk about it over my twitter occasionally posting threads about how to grow on youtube hence why i've been posting shorts because this channel really outside of it being in the box that it's kind of in won't get much discoverability besides youtube shorts and i know i see comments people complaining all you upload is shorts well i'm a youtuber and i kind of want to grow but like i was saying the videos i genuinely want to make will not perform here as they would compared to a new channel i mean heck that video is aiming to get a million views on which i did it was just off this platform on another platform called facebook and it got 4.1 million views, which is cool because that's my first ever long form video to reach a million plus views. It just sucks it didn't happen here on YouTube, but hey, things happen for a reason, right? But outside of content creation, which I genuinely love and I genuinely love YouTube and I kind of needed a break from it, this is the real reason why I stepped away and have been gone for a long time. This is basically why I left. And that is, I had to focus on my mental health. As you guys know, I am going through a lot in life right now. I am going through a, a very important change, obviously with my transition. I've been on hormones now for just over 600 days. I, I can't equate that to months right now, but we're coming close to two years. And so, you know, being back home with my family, I kind of like hit that reset button in life. And I just started really need to focus on my mental health, which was important. And that kind of meant stepping away from making long form content, even though I was still, you know, making those trading videos and all that and making short form content, I just couldn't put too much time and effort into long form content when I had to focus on here, what's going on in here. And I talked to my therapist and we made a lot of great progress and all that. And at the end of the day, that was important for me, was to just take that step back and focus on my mental health. And I'm gonna be honest, I really encourage everybody to take a moment, focus on yourself, focus on your mental health, because it's genuinely very important. And you know, for me, talking with my therapist has really helped. Don't be afraid to talk to somebody, your friend, a family member, a therapist, just talk, 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 talk. It's always important. I started focusing then on my physical health and I've actually have been taking it seriously for once in the past. I, I would just do it to, you know, not really make myself happy, but make people around me happy. Cause you know, there's people out there that do care about me and they want to see me get healthy and be the physically best version of myself. And I wasn't ready to lose weight. After one night talking to my therapist, I decided to step on the scale and I didn't like the number I saw, it was like 287. And I'm coming up on 30 days now of just doing cardio every single day, being active. And I think that is a right step in the right direction for me. And I have to thank my therapist for helping me a lot. And so shout out to her. 
Uh, she's really helped. So because of me focusing more on my mental health and taking a step back from making long form videos, and you know, obviously I'm making the short forms just to kind of keep everything alive and going, you know, to keep the wheel somewhat spinning, even though it was like on a little death spiral. I'm a lot happier now in life, and that's pretty important, to be honest. If you're not happy, you're gonna have to do the things that will make you happy. Obviously for me, I knew transitioning would make me happy, especially in the long run. Focus on my physical health, along with my mental health, and I've been doing it, I've been so much happier now, and I'm ready to make that return to, to making content, but it's not gonna be the same how like you guys have seen it because the videos I genuinely wanna do are gonna go onto what's now considered my new main channel. If you can find it, you can find it. The channel is just called Emily. I'm trying not to have a direct link between both channels at the moment. I'm gonna make the content that I wanna make and I'm just gonna be the most authentic version of myself and hopefully entertain you guys. So yeah, that's pretty much where I've been for the past two months is just Focusing on my mental health, number one. Number two, finally focusing on my physical health. And number three, just secretly planning to take over the world via YouTube. Um, by just studying it, understanding it, loving the data side of it, and uh, experimenting with short form content. I love YouTube and I wanna eventually become one of the biggest creators on the platform, which, like I said, I know what it takes. It's gonna take a lot of work, but it's something now that I got myself mentally ready for, I'm getting myself physically ready for, and it's just time to get creating. So if you find the brand new channel, uh, Emily is what it's called, cool. Subscribe if you want to subscribe. Don't subscribe if you don't want to subscribe there. Um, basically, two different types of content, and I'm gonna keep doing just vlogs over here the way how I used to always vlog, and make the videos that I genuinely want to make over there and um, let's just go on this journey together. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for listening to me ramble. Uh, I know you guys probably haven't heard my annoying orange voice in a long time because you know the annoying orange. Um, <laughs> but with that being said, guys, I love you. Thank you so much for watching and remember you can do anything you put your mind to. Until next time, Saxon family, it's been your girl M, keeping it real or swift. And um, yeah, pa -pa 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 -pa. peace. And I actually missed YouTube. I'm excited to take it over. Just watch, just wait. I have a lot to prove, not only to myself, but to the world. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a fun time. <laughs> All right, I need it. I need to end this vlog so I can get up tomorrow on time.